She is a neighbor of the Weissblums, and when their daughter Bracha got married, it was in 2008, the Snyders flew out to attend the Simcha. Without further ado, I'm pleased to introduce Gail Snyder. Gail? Rabbi, this is for you. As a congregant and a student of yours, as a neighbor and, I hope, a friend. In Pirkei Avot, Ethics of the Fathers, the following lesson is given. Ben Zoma would say, who is wise? One who learns from every man. Who is strong? One who empowers his inclinations. Who is rich? One who is satisfied with his lot. Who is honorable? One who honors his fellows. It would seem that Ben Zomo knew our rabbi quite well, for our own Rabbi Weisblum is wise, strong, rich, and honorable. He is wise through the living, the learning, and the teaching which he has accomplished. Living in Israel, Rabbi Weisblum, still a young yeshiva student, defied his family, his rabbis, and his yeshiva by joining the Israeli army. Wanting to do more than wait for the next attack on his home in Haifa, the rabbi joined the IDF, serving valiantly under extraordinary circumstances with the elite paratroopers unit in Lebanon and achieving the rank of major. His learning has taken him to near Renaissance levels, having earned degrees as varied as his semicha, religious ordination, completed studies in computer science from Ofrim Institute in Israel, earned the Golden Prize in writing in Haifa, received a certificate in holistic alternative medicine, a master's degree in music from Hebrew University, a master's degree in public administration where he graduated summa cum laude with two separate honors, a master's degree in communal services, a master's degree in business, and finally a PhD in philosophy and education. But it is not enough for our rabbi to just learn, for he sees his purpose of learning is to teach, and teach he does. The rabbi has led classes in such a variety of subjects that it boggles the mind. His lecture series have included, but are not limited to, who are the key biblical figures? What are the three special assignments for women in Judaism? Where do we come from? The hows and whys of Jewish conversion, Jewish American heroes, art visions in the Psalms, military might, ancient architecture, modern Israel, US-Israeli relations, the Shopsai Tzvi and the Renaissance Church, the Holocaust, traveling through Jewish history, development of Jewish philosophy, mysticism and Kabbalah, comparative religions, Tanakh, Midrash, Mishnah, weekly Torah classes, Torah on the internet, discussions on the book of Job, the book of Ruth, the book of Ecclesiastes, and by his own estimates, more than 500 sermons in his 10 years at Knesset Israel. To say that we have a Renaissance man in our midst would be to understate the obvious. Benzoma asked, who is strong? One who overpowers his inclinations. When one is gravely injured, the inclination might be to just give up. Apparently, this is not our rabbi's inclination. Rabbi Weisblum suffered a devastating injury to his leg in a jet ski accident several years ago Rather than let the doctors take his leg, our rabbi underwent multiple surgeries and incredible pain to overcome all odds, save his leg, and find a way through prayer and exercise to be even stronger after the accident. Yes, I believe our rabbi has overcome his inclinations. Who is rich? One who is satisfied with his lot. Well, I suppose that would depend on your definition of satisfied. I believe that our rabbi is satisfied with his multiple talents and is wise enough to know that talent should be shared. In addition to his lectures and classes at our own Knesset Israel, 
the rabbi has, so to speak, taken his show on the road. He is currently teaching a six-week course of study at Florida Atlantic University on comparative religions, Buddhism, Sophism, Christianity, and Judaism. He was just recently a scholar in residence at Berkeley College in California. He is recording star in Japan. Yes, the website Jewish Music Review had the following to say about his CD, Heartfelt Melodies, and I quote, a newly released album of Hasidic melodies is attracting widespread attention even from Japan. The album, produced by a pulpit rabbi from Maryland, brings us nigunim, rich with, by famous tzaddikim, such as the Noam Avimelech Tziv, in a collection slated to be the first in a series of genuine Hasidic melodies. The album, Heartfelt Melodies, contains nine nigunim, whose arrangement preserves their authentic musical character, whilst maintaining superior sound quality. The album was recorded in state-of-the-art studios with the best and most experienced professionals in the country. This project was the inspiration of Rabbi Moshe Pinchas Weissblum, the highly talented Rav of a thriving community in Maryland, who in addition to being featured on the album, is responsible for production and musical arrangement. By the way, the experienced professionals, well, they were musicians from the New York Philharmonic Orchestra, and the famous Sadiqim was our rabbi's own great-grandfather. FYI, the album is selling really well in Denmark and France, too. <laughs> the rabbi shares another of his remarkable talents, this time as a writer. He has published the well-known Table Talk, the insightful Book of Ruth, four books on Rashi, all in Hebrew, and the Hermetics of Medieval Jewish Thought, Understanding the Linguistic Codes of Rashi and Nachmanides. That one is maybe a bit over my head, but I did find multiple scholarly works on the internet which cited the rabbi's work. Which brings us back to Ben Zoma again and his final reflection. Who is honorable? One who honors his fellows. All of us know our rabbi can attest to this trait, for the rabbi is quite simply a nice guy. He has opened his home. He has opened his home along with his lovely wife Miriam and their children, Eli and his wife Ayala. Bracha and her husband, Ruvain, Ayala, Mayer, and Natan, to countless members of our community. He will gladly speak about his four, almost five, grandchildren, like any good Zaidi would. He Skypes with his friends and family worldwide, emails with finesse, texts like a teenager, talks for hours on the phone to his congregants on whatever topic is on their minds, visits the sick wherever he may travel, can quote popular rock lyrics and connect them to Rebbe's and Rashi alike, can explain the virtues of a vegan diet, but still advise you on how to kosher your kitchen. <laughs> he can be found reading a biography on Einstein at the same time that he is studying Maimonides, or just as likely swimming at the Annapolis Aquatic Center, or walking the BNA Trail. Yes, our rabbi is a Renaissance man who fulfills Ben Zoma's definition for he is wise, strong, rich, and honorable. Robert Smith, a 17th century clergyman, might have said it even more clearly. If there be any truer measure of a man by what he does, it must be by what he gives. Thank you. <laughs>